An insult to injury for the millions of people who still don't have heat, power, or water after Sandy. It is now getting dangerously clo uh, cold, and there's a big new storm brewing. ABC News meteorologist Ginger Z has been on this story from the jump. She's got the latest now. Ginger, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. This wouldn't be a huge issue if we didn't have so many millions still without power, but look at the temperatures. Charleston, West Virginia is in the cold, 40 there. Boston's 42, but everybody else now in the 30s. New York City at 39. That means the outskirts are outside of the city even colder, closer to freezing, and the wind chills this morning are right there with you. I'd love to tell you that it gets warmer the next couple of mornings, but as people still getting power back, going to stay in the 30s, not only for NYC, but Atlantic City there falls to freezing by early Tuesday. It's not going to be all that nice. And then we have to talk about that storm. Of course, you've got that jet stream holding onto that cold air. It's going to grab some moisture down in the southeast, and that's where it picks up the pace, and it starts to form the nor'easter. So you'll have rain showers from the Carolinas on Tuesday down into Florida. Then for your Wednesday, it starts to move north. That's when the winds pick up in the northeast, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. And then by Thursday, it really mixes in with some cold air. Coastal New England gets the rain back here in upstate New York, Poconos, getting into some of the snow. So how much and what to expect? Here it is, one to three inches of rain, six to 12 foot waves, and of course that inland snow.